Jim Ryan. You were the chosen one. Why have you forsaken me? Why have you forsaken the PlayStation 5 community? And why is the Empire striking back? And why the heck am I wearing a Borderlands mask? Ha. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, Sony's Jim Ryan is firing back in a new interview he did with Nick Cave. Because, let's be honest, Jim Ryan is not exactly getting a lot of praise lately. He's said and done a lot of, let's just call them dumb things, stupid things. He's not endearing himself to the PlayStation community, uh, and he's not endearing himself to gamers. But his face and his name is out there on everything, and he doesn't shut up. But this time, he's kind of firing back with, you know what, Game Pass, got you. We're going to, we, we, get, we got our own thing. Just wait, just wait. xCloud, mm -mm -mm. Mm, don't worry about xCloud. Don't worry about xCloud, we got you. Oh, 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 games? You're worried about games? Oh, we lost MLB The Show exclusivity? You're worried about games? <laughs> Jim Ryan's got you. That's right, baby. If you're a PlayStation fan, Jim Ryan's got some great news for you today. So we have an interview that's been translated by Gamitsu and other people over on Reddit from Nikkei. So Jim Ryan did an interview with, with a Japanese um, newspaper, magazine, whatever it is. Uh, and we're going to read it uh, because, wow. So first off, Jim Ryan decides to tell us what the hell is going on with the PlayStation 5 supply shortages um, and Japan. Because uh, he's talking specifically, why can't we get PlayStation 5s in Japan? Because it's focused on Japan. But this could really apply worldwide. Jim Ryan responds and says, There are several reasons why PlayStation 5s are currently hard to obtain. Supply was extremely intricate under COVID-19, and distribution had to be online only. Semiconductor supply and demand is also tight across the globe. We are asking our suppliers to increase production, and that will flow into the market in 2021. The current supply of PlayStation 5 in Japan is comparable to PlayStation 4 in the same period. Following its launch, we will continue to focus on the Japanese market and improve supply going forward. PlayStation 5 has a lot of software by Japanese developers from early on, and going forward, I would like to strengthen our ties with Japanese developers and release content for PlayStation 5 suited to the Japanese market. This seems to be in direct response. But here's the thing. He went further. See, Jim Ryan's like, oh, I know the narrative. Yeah, okay, we need to get more supply of PlayStation 5. But you know what? You didn't even talk about this, but I'm going to bring it up. Yep, we still care about the Japanese market. We're still going to get Japanese games. These are just words. Action speaks louder than words. So we'll have to wait and see. Jim Ryan could just be talking out his ass. But for now, he's at least saying, hey, we didn't give up on the Japanese market. We have plenty of games coming that are going to target Japanese gamers. So we'll have to wait and see. Jim Ryan, that's some pretty big words to say if you're a gamer in Japan. Let's get to some other stuff he decides to address. Because again, this is the Empire, the Sony Empire striking back at all the criticism. Regarding the cloud game partnership with Microsoft announced in 2019. So if you guys remember, there was a partnership between Sony and Microsoft announced in 2019 for cloud stuff, but we haven't really seen anything come of it. And we're wondering, what the hell is Sony doing? What's their answer to Game Pass? What's their answer to xCloud? They got to have something, right? They're not just going to let Microsoft walk all over the whole game industry, are they? Well, here's what he said. The conversation of exchanging ideas with Microsoft is ongoing. It's some extremely interesting stuff. And I hope to announce our cloud strategy when the time is right. While we could use the cloud for our technical infrastructure, the cloud game experience we offer will be unique to PlayStation. So basically what he's saying is, hey, look, we're going to have cloud gaming. It's happening. Oh, we might even have a service attached to it, like Game Pass. It's happening. But it's exclusive for Sony gamers. PlayStation gamers. For the gamers. So, we'll see. I mean, it could be good. Again, Jim Ryan basically saying, yeah, we know what Microsoft's doing. We're talking to them. We're going to have something that's good for us. He's not saying better. He's just saying, hey, if you're a PlayStation user, stay tuned. I don't think we're getting this announced for a couple of years. I, I, I still think whatever Sony has in the works is probably still at least two years away from being announced. But they are going to do something eventually. All right, and then this is about content. Obviously, games are king in the industry. Exclusives are, you know, pretty king for 
selling consoles. Uh, and apparently he's making a really, really bold promise for PlayStation 5 games. And someone's going to have to start getting out the uh, the old little uh, counter clock and start counting the games that come out because um, he's making the claim that I think all PlayStation 5 fans, PlayStation 5 owners want to hear. So regarding competition for content, such as Microsoft acquiring companies, because obviously, hey, Microsoft's been acquiring companies. What's the hell is Sony doing? We've been quietly, so behind the scenes, but steadily investing in high-quality games for PlayStation. And we will make sure the PlayStation 5 generation has more exclusive software than ever before. Jim Ryan is saying, you loved PlayStation 4, you loved PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, Vita, PSP, we got you! We're going to have more exclusive games than ever before. Jim Ryan is just, he, he's not, he's not, he's just, he's trying to throw haymakers out there. Oh, Microsoft's got cloud gaming? So will we. Microsoft's been buying all these studios and having all these exclusives? We're going to have the most exclusives of all time. Jim Ryan is not messing around, folks. This is the aggression I think some PlayStation 5s have been waiting for from Jim Ryan. This is the kind of aggression that when we saw Xbox One fumble during its reveal that, you know, you had Sony handing a game to somebody. This is how you share games on PlayStation. This is his moment. Not quite as meme-tastic, but definitely as promising. All right. He says, We have engaged in mergers and acquisitions several times in the past, such as with Insomniac Games. We will not rule out that option in the future. So let's say, hey, we're going to, we're, we're probably going to get more acquisitions and stuff like that in the future. But behind the scenes, quietly, unannounced, they have a shitload of PlayStation 5 games coming, is basically what he's saying. Then he says uh, that where sales usually peak in the third or fourth year of a console's lifetime, he can see a longer life cycle for PlayStation 5 due to its health and post-launch and is more optimistic about the future now than he was a year ago. So there you go, Jim Ryan throwing punches, throwing haymakers, trying to knock Phil Spencer on his ass. We'll have to wait and see. The Battle of the Titans, the two... The two consoles, the Battle of Titans, has only just begun. So we'll see what happens. And then you have Nintendo off in its corner doing whatever the hell it feels like doing. As it quietly is the market leader, and nobody wants to talk about that. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe, all that jazz. If not, what the hell are you still doing here this late in the video? Get out of here. Go find something more productive to do with your time. I don't know. Play some tic-tac-toe. Three in a row. Maybe shoot some hoops. I don't know. Bye.